boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Rojas. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Mrs. Rojas eLearning. Okay, today we're going to do our math, which is day seven and eight. Your, your final days for your packet, okay? So by Monday of next week, which is um, April 6th, you will be done with your packet and be able to go pick up your uh, your new packet at school once your teachers send out your dates, okay, and the time. Um, so this video is for day seven, which will be tomorrow, um, April, what is it, April 2nd, April 3rd? Okay, so um, remember I will tell you halfway through the video once I'm done with day seven, and then I'll, on this same video, I will continue on to day eight, okay? So this is a math unit 35 subtraction. Make sure you have your packet ready. Subtraction, problem solving strategies, day seven and eight. So your first page just tells you what your packet has, so you really don't need that. Second page are your directions. This is just tells you materials that you might need and what are found in the packet. So I really don't worry about that. I'm going to be teaching you this, okay? Uh, what I do want you to focus on, just like in the other ones, is your vocabulary. For this one, boys and girls, all of your problems that we're going to solve today are going to be subtraction, okay? So subtract and then difference. And we know when we subtract, boys and girls, we're determining how much one number or a set differs from another, okay? It's kind of like separating those sets as well, okay? You're taking away. Those are some other uh, keywords in there. Difference. Difference is just the answer to a subtraction problem, okay? It results from when you subtract two numbers. All right. Now we're going to page three. This is where we will start our lesson. I'm going to start it off with introducing boys and girls that we know that we solve problems every day, okay? We encounter problems maybe uh, when we've been in class and, and outside of school, um, at home, right? When we've gone um, maybe to the grocery store and things like that, right? Well, we need some strategies to be able to help us solve them, okay? So for example, I have to pay bills, just like your parents do, right? Every month, right, out of my paycheck. So at the beginning of the month, I spend some of my money maybe on rent or uh, for my house, right, or electricity. Um, then in the middle of my month, halfway through, um, I use some of that money to pay maybe my car or maybe my internet service, right, a medical bill, something. Um, and then I still need to buy groceries, right? And then I need to put gas, of course, in my car, and that's not free. It still takes money. This can be a lot to have to remember and keep track of, right? So it's very, though, important to do, to make sure that you keep track of the amount of money um, that I'm actually taking away from my paycheck, right? Because I'm getting paid, and that amount of money is set, right? And I have to be taking away from there, right? So I need to make sure that I don't run out of money, right? In order to be able to get these things and pay for these things. Okay, so I know how much money, if I do know how much money I'm getting a month or every two weeks or however, um, we get paid, right? There are some ways that I can make sure that I don't spend too much of it and making sure that I have enough for everything that I need, right? That's important, okay? So some things that can help me, boys and girls, is making like a list right? That kind of keeps everything organized, a list of our bills, list of how much we pay for them. And then at the same time, we're taking away from the actual total, our starting total that we have maybe saved or maybe from our paycheck, right? And as we're taking and spending it, right? Spending it, then we're taking it away. And we know that that amount becomes less every time you spend because you're taking away. You're not adding to it, right? Okay. So there are so many great strategies to help you in this and this is what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about three awesome strategies and then we'll get to that in a minute because i'm going to show you something in a little bit okay all right so um let's look at my drawing here my little model this is where it's kind of like an example for you this is going to tell you about one strategy okay so um this is what i have let's just pretend that these are blocks okay these are actual puzzle pieces okay so um, I needed to pick up the pieces, so I just grabbed like a, a baggie and I just stuck some pieces in here, right? So as I'm starting on my starting point, I'm walking along and then all of a sudden, eh, I stop. And guess what? We dropped and we forgot to pick up how many pieces are here. How many pieces do we have here? One, two, three, right? So what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to just add them to my bag that I already had some of my pieces here, okay? And then I keep walking along, walking along, and then I get to the end. Well, boys and girls, at the end, I 
get an amount. I get an amount that I have here in my bag, okay? So then this amount, I'm gonna count it out, okay? And this is at my end point, okay? So here I have a starting point. I didn't know how many I started with originally in my bag, but I did pick up three along the way. I know that for sure. And then when I get to my end point, well, I have them all in my bag. Let's count them out. So I have one, two, three, which I have picked up. And I'm gonna keep going with what I have here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what I wound up in my bag. I wound up with how many? Eight, right? So I know my total, right, that I have. I found three, I wound up with the total of eight. But boys and girls, how many did I originally start off with? Okay, this boys and girls is where we're going to be working how? Forward or backward? We're going to work our way back to our starting point, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gather them all back into my bag. This is just a great strategy. You can always draw it out just like I'm doing here too. Okay, you would draw your eight, draw three, take them away, and you're putting them together now. So you're kind of just putting them all together, right? Now we're going to figure out where my starting point is, okay? So I'm working backwards. So I'm walking back, and I'm dropping back what I had originally picked up, because now I want to know my starting. How many did I start off with? I already know my total, so now I'm going to work my way back. Start thinking. What do you think you will result here? What would be the number that's missing? Okay, where did I start off with? Let's see if you get it. This is my starting point. Two, three, and four, and five. So boys and girls, what would have been the number that I started with originally? I would have started with five. You see how I kind of work backwards here? So if I were to set this up as a subtraction problem, I would put eight minus what I found because that is what I knew. I had my total, which was three. And I would come up with my result as being what? The difference, one, two, three, four, five. And this is what I had originally started with, but I didn't know that because I hadn't counted it yet. Okay, so this is just one great strategy that can help us, okay, working backward. So I'm going to remove these to the side, and now I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to explain another problem, okay? All right. Um, for this one, boys and girls, um, what you're going to look for, just so you know which strategies you're looking at, go ahead and get page eight. And you have your large strategy symbol cards. We kind of did this in uh, lesson, what was it? Lesson five and six, right? So um, some of the same strategies, right? But now we're using them towards subtraction because they can apply, right? They will apply for that as well, for addition and subtraction. Okay, so we're gonna cut out the three and we're going to put them up here. So when we figure it out, we're going to be able to display which uh, strategy we're actually using. So we already used which one? work backwards. So I would cut this one out and put it here. So I'm going to give you some time. If you do have scissors at this time, go ahead and cut these out and go ahead and start cutting out page nine. These are the small ones. The blank one you don't need, so you can set that aside, use it for something else for later or to show your work or draw or to solve. Okay, it's up to you. And the same for this one. You really don't need it, but you can save it to maybe create one of your own uh, strategies. You create one of your own, not a strategy, but maybe a problem, okay? That can kind of help you. So go ahead, this is the time, go ahead and cut if you have scissors. Okay, boys and girls, so now that you cut out your large cards and also your small cards, just kind of set the small ones to the side. We'll utilize those. Um, in a bit, okay? So right now our focus are the big cards. So we already talked about working backwards just like the model that we saw with the puzzle pieces, right? We're working backwards to subtract. Okay, now we're going to look at another example. And for this one, boys and girls, it's going to be a draw a picture, okay? So I know a lot of you like to draw. So you can draw this as well. You can take one of your papers on the back 
that's not used and go ahead and um, or if you have a scratch sheet of paper you can draw it out anything that I write you can also do okay all right so in other situations boys and girls we might need a visual okay this is where the picture comes in right and sometimes it helps us make thing, uh, make the problem it makes sense okay a little bit better so for example I brought a dozen of donuts and dozen what does dozen mean how many are in a dozen there are 12 right so that's what a keyword, right? Okay, so there are a dozen donuts that I'm buying to share uh, with my friends at work, right? So three of my coworkers, two and three, I'm just gonna keep them simple. You can make it all fancy, draw out a whole body there, okay? So I have three of my, um, my workers and I have 12. One, donuts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me move this so that way I can keep them all together. 10, 11, and 12, okay? So here I have 12, right? And we said that was a dozen donuts, okay? And here are three of my coworkers, okay? Now, um, each of my coworkers took two donuts. They were really hungry, right? And they ate them, okay? And I, boys and girls, I only ate one, okay? But my three coworkers, they ate two each, okay? So let's kind of draw a little more and try to see, figure out, right? Um, to help me keep track of what's going on, right? Because there's a few things there. Okay, so here's one of my coworkers. Looks a little funny. Okay. So one of my coworkers ate two. Another one of my coworkers ate another two. You can be drawing this out. Another one of my coworkers ate another two. And then this is me. <laughs> I was good and I only ate one. Okay. Although I love to eat donuts too, right? So I only ate one. Okay. I started off with the total. This is the amount that got eaten. Okay, so how many would you have left? You can count it. One, two, three, four, five, right? So if I were to write this out in a subtraction sentence, I would write my total that I start off with minus how many were eaten? Two, four, six, seven. How many did I have left? One, two, three, four, and Five is what I had left. We just created a subtraction sentence. And what helped us figure it out even better was to draw a picture, right? We didn't have to really solve it and put a sentence uh, frame here, right, for our number sentence, but we did just because we wanted to get ahead on that, right? Okay, good job. So drawing a picture is another strategy that will help you solve a subtraction problem, okay? All right, boys and girls, make sure that you continue drawing if you're not done, okay? Um, now boys and girls, let's examine one more strategy. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. You can always pause it if you're not done and finish drawing and um, then restart it so you can continue with the rest, okay? All right, so drawing a picture, we got it. Good job. Now we're going to look at another method, which is make a list, okay? So let's examine that strategy. Um, let's say I went to a clothing store to look for four specific items, okay? I had $20 to spend, okay? What do you think I could do to keep track of my items and determine, boys and girls, how much money I would have after I was done shopping, right? Because I don't want to overspend, right? But if I have enough left over, I might want to be able to buy more, right? So what can help me keep track of that? Well, making a list, just like it says here. Two shirts, three scarves, uh, one dress, four pairs of pants, two pairs of shoes, or one hat, okay? So, um, if I made the list uh, while I was shopping for clothes, okay, um, this could probably help me stay a little bit more organized. And at the same time, I could even be crossing off um, what I am buying as well, okay? All right. So, and that'll kind of help me also keep track of how much money I'm spending. So maybe the two shirts might be like $2 and I bought two shirts. So that would be a total of how many dollars? 
maybe four dollars okay and then that'll help you keep track of how much you've already spent and then you can take away from the actual total you started off with which was twenty dollars originally <clears throat> um if i make a list boys and girls it's a little bit more effective for me to know um my items that i already have and that way i won't again overspend or buy okay so this is just another simple strategy okay all right now boys and girls um this is go i'm going to pause for now okay so it'll give you the opportunity that if you have not cut out um your little cards you can do that now okay boys and girls so um if you've already cut these out perfect okay we're done with the big ones so you can kind of just set them to the side okay um and now we're going to be working with the little ones okay um in a little bit so um just so you know but boys and girls that we went back to making sure you understood your three strategies work backwards draw a picture and make a list okay now this is going to end your day seven in a little bit i'm going to start off your day eight okay so that'll give you a minute to gather your materials you do need the little cards if you don't if you haven't cut them out it's okay because you might if you don't have scissors that's fine if you do cut them out and have them ready you also need to have ready page 10 page 11 and page 12 okay and i will be back to give you day eight okay boys and girls welcome back this is now your day eight your last day right to work with your math uh lesson unit 35 we're on day eight okay so make sure you have your materials and these two pages okay for today you're going to be pairing these strategies that we previously discussed in day seven. You're not going to solve these problems yet. You, boys and girls, are going to decide which strategy best to use in order to solve, like if we were going to solve it, okay? When you do your independent practice here, this is where you will solve these problems you will solve them here and also jot down your answers okay but that'll be at the end of the video that'll be uh for you and for your assignment that will be due okay so we have three um a b c yes you see a d but the d is empty which means that you don't have another problem but i'm going to challenge you and i wrote here create one of your own you're going to create try your best to try to create one have somebody help you okay think go back and look at these okay and maybe change the numbers okay be creative with your problem okay and then you can work it out on that page uh, 12 which will be your deep problem okay but we'll get to that in a minute all right i'm going to read it to you then you will be choosing which strategy it is okay i'll give you some time and then uh which means we'll pause and then we'll go back and answer to see if you got yours correct or not okay all right so let's look at letter a fiona collects seashells when she goes to the beach okay in march she added four seashells to her collection okay in june she gathered nine more now she has 27 seashells how many did fiona start with okay Think about that problem. If you need to go back and reread it, go ahead. All you're doing here right now, boys and girls, is you are deciding which strategy to use. Would you make a list here? Think about it. Would you draw a picture to help you solve? Or would you work backward? Okay? Some of these you can actually use several of the strategies to be able to help you solve. Okay? We're going to talk about one that really does fit better in there to help you solve. Okay? All right, for now, I'm gonna pause. We'll be back. Make your selection. Remember, if you do not have scissors or glue, it's okay. You will write the title, make a list if you think that's a strategy. Draw a picture, write those words here, or work backwards, write the word here. We'll be back. Okay, boys and girls, so for A, which one did you choose? If you chose, work backward. You are correct. Some of the key words in there, boys and girls, also that I saw was start with. 
Remember my our drawing start and end point? Okay, they gave us a total. So if you had glue at this moment, you would glue this one down. If you don't have glue, just write the words and maybe draw the picture if you can. Work backwards. So this one would fit perfectly here to solve. I'm going to read letter B and then we'll do the same, okay? Buttercup the horse has 24 sugar cubes in the barn. If she eats nine sugar cubes today, how many sugar cubes can she eat tomorrow? Okay, so think about these two. Could drawing a picture help you solve that problem? If you think so, glue it there or write the name. If you think making a list will help you solve that problem, go ahead and glue it or write, make a list there. All right, we'll be back to check your answer. Okay, boys and girls, so let's go to B. If you needed to reread it, go ahead, okay? So, which one would be the best strategy to use? Draw a picture for here or make a list? Drum roll. If you chose draw a picture, you are correct. Good job. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, check mark it. All right. Which now, boys and girls, we know that we're left with one last strategy. And I'll read C just so you understand why you would use make a list, right? Asher donated some of his toys to kids in the neighborhood. Of his 20 toys, he gave four to Jordan, nine to Sophia, three to Miguel, and one to Alexa. So there's like several steps here, right? Remember, that's one of your keywords, several things. How many toys did Asher keep for himself? So to help you solve that, boys and girls, we know that it's going to make a list make a list of the names and how many items he gave how many toys he gave to each of the of the children there okay and then it'll help you gather um the total and then how many he's going to be left with right which would be your subtraction all right remember letter d you can try to create one and then try to make one that fits one of your favorite strategies that we covered today. Okay, so now this, you can set it to the side. That's perfect. Do not get rid of it because this are the problems you're going to use to solve here, okay? All right, this is going to be your independent practice, boys and girls, okay? Now it's going to be left to you to be able to solve your problems. So you have page 11 and you also have page 12 uh, with you, okay? So, page 11 and page 12. I already wrote the letters for you. You can copy them the same. A, B, C, and D. So for A, you will reread the problem. You will show your work to solve. Maybe using the same strategy, working backwards, like my first drawing. So if you need to rewind the video, go back to use that to help you and then figure out your answer. Remember, all of these boys and girls are subtraction problems. This will help you, okay? B, work it out, answer. C, work it out, put your answer. And D, you don't have a D, but if you would like to challenge yourself and create one on your own, go ahead and try it, okay? And see what you come up with, all right? Okay, boys and girls, it's been great tuning in with you for these videos. I know you're going to become great problem solvers using some of these wonderful strategies that we covered today. Once again, working backwards, drawing a picture, or making a list, okay? So now you are in charge of completing these as your independent practice, okay? All right, boys and girls, please stay safe, and I'll tune in back with you uh, with more videos next week. Bye.